Oh, we are popping to. <laughs> hey, yo, before we start the podcast, for those who watch and watch this fly shit. Ah, nigga. Ah, nigga. <laughs> Hey yo, you are having too much fun. <laughs> All right, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the Drinks and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, King Bach, K B and G B A K. I am accompanied by T with Tia, Terrible Tia, Tia. All the names that they've given me. But what's up, you guys? Happy to be here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, first and foremost, I want to shout out to everybody watching on Facebook and YouTube. Shout out to everybody listening on Spotify. And Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts from, because we're probably there. Um, ain't got no sponsor shout outs. I don't think. No, no, we ain't got no sponsor shout outs this week. Um, yeah, so how was your week, Tia? You know what day it is? It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> right. I never know what day it is, but it's Wednesday. Um, and yeah, my weeks are still running together. Okay. I, I don't do anything, but um I did have a great um interview yesterday with um Berto Collin. Mm-hmm. Um he plays um Lorenzo Tejada on Power Book Ghost 2. Facts. So it was definitely a lit time. So shout out to um uh, Berto. Okay, facts, facts. Yeah, shout out to Holmes, man. Um and my week was yeah, it's been a week so far. So far so good. Um yeah, I'm looking forward to this weekend though because I'm going to go see uh, Ari Spears. I've always wanted to see him do stand up. I was about to say who? Uh, so he's a, he's a comedian. <laughs> he was on Saturday Night Saturday Night Live a while back, and he's been like on like uh, what's the little comedy thing that Shaq does or Shaq did like the All Star Comedy Jam stuff. Don't get me the line. Okay, well yeah, he <laughs> he was on he was on that, and um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I get to I get to see him this weekend. So I'm I'm excited about that. I got my tickets and everything. So you know, you didn't I'll be, ask me if I wanted to go. Well, I'm, I'm taking somebody with me. Um, yeah, come on, man. Oh, I, I mean, you ain't know if I had if I had somebody to do a double date with. I mean, <laughs> see y'all. He real raggedy. That's no, okay. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, I had um, I had the uh. Okay, so I know you're gonna talk about it, but. I had a versus battle uh, at the crib. We did the part one of Jay-Z versus Lil Wayne. So it was like, and I have to add you to that group chat. I realized you wasn't in that group chat on you Facebook. You see, y'all see how he be doing me? He does me so dirty. I'm not pinned to the top. I'm not in the group chat. You are pinned to the top oh, now. So Don't now I'm pinned to the top. <laughs> yes, now you, it's uh, just me and you. You okay. have to be pinned to the top. All right. All right, but uh, yeah, add me to that group chat. But yeah. I have done that verses already on my uh, on my blog. It was an interesting. One. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we did we did part one. So like their catalogs are so huge that we had to do a part one and part two. <laughs> I ain't get you on camera doing that. Ain't nobody they looking at me right now. All right, but uh, God, but no. <laughs> I should have just hit the Lord, button. I had a hole it. in my lip, y'all. Oh my god! So, uh, but no, we did do a, uh, we did do the uh, part one, and man, it was good because I did not think about some of the classics that Hove got. Hove got some classics, man, and it was like really hard for me to choose because it's like classics that I heard after the fact. But with Little Wayne, like I grew up listening to Wayne, so it was like. I don't know. The songs put you in different kind of mode. Uh, Jay-Z is the GOAT. So. He is the GOAT. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. <laughs> now, I did pick some of the some of the beginning songs that Naeem picked out uh, for for the verses. I, I didn't agree with. So, I you know, I went with the with the better of the two or whatever. But it was just like as we as we got down towards, you know, the 20 for the first for the first half. I was like, yeah, I'm. I'm Hold I'm on, wait. Way. It's only supposed to be twenty. So what that's you... what I'm saying. Like, that, but we have part one and part two. Oh, so you did yeah. ten and ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. That's why I was say, what y'all doing? No, no, some extra no, stuff? no. We're doing twenty and twenty. All right. I yeah, because their catalogs are so big. Yeah, but yeah, man. I mean, you know. But the next one, I'm definitely going to invite you to. You're definitely going to get the invite for that. Please, because you be your... doing they dirty, man. <sighs> well, you can't blame Naeem too. He in the he in the group chat. Yeah, I'm blaming both of y'all. <laughs> But um, but yeah, so we'll 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 get that. But yeah, man, that was fun. Um, and then I, that's, that's that's really all I did. I ain't do too much other than that. Um, 
Let's see. What do we have for current events? Yep. Because you're getting ready to talk about, you know, all, all that right. good stuff. <laughs> Can you see the screen? Huh? Can you see the screen? No, I can't see the screen. Oh. Uh, the screen said, what ghetto shit is happening? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So I don't know which camera we're looking at. Cause this one. Alan got real fancy with us. You know, we got some viewers now. You got to show them the angles again. Mm. They, they ain't see the angles. Hold on. Wait, watch this. He don't got fancy. Gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Now that we're done playing with the camera angles, let's start off with the verses. All right. Keisha Cole and Ashanti. First mm. of all, mm. I just, I mean, I kind of already know who you said one. I definitely had my girl Ashanti going into it, and I still got my girl Ashanti. So, okay. who you got? I had Ashanti. Okay, I'm, you still now, you still rocking with Ashanti after the fact? Yes, after the fact. So, okay, so, and I'm rocking with Ashanti even more now because she held it down. Right. She held it down while Keisha Cole was not there. We were looking at two chairs for like two hours, yo. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. We were all right. So I'm, I'm gonna put it like this, and um. I think I might have said this while I was watching the versus battle, but Ashanti was, uh, she was like, she was like the cool chick that was approachable in the VIP section. And then Keisha Cole was the one that was ordering everybody around. Cause as soon as she sat down, she started throwing out, make my head bigger. That's exactly what she said. Make you on the screen. Oh, yeah, she, she, came in, she came in with orders. <laughs> she came in barking orders, yo. And she went live and said, that the reason why she was late was simply because her screen was blurry. Mm. She said she was there. Mm. But she said she didn't come out because the screen was blurry. Oh, I mean, shoot, it looked it looked fine to me. Like when I I'm sitting here watching it on um and I and I have, I'm happy that they all also offered it on Apple TV because I was oh, like, I always watch it on Apple TV. Yeah, because I was like, if I gotta watch it on Instagram on my phone, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. Yeah, you know it's what I'm just saying? gonna be terrible. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know if you guys have heard of the NFL uh, Pro Versus. Mm -hmm. They have a Pro Bowl Versus for the NFL. So basically, it's two NFL players. They go head to head, and they are, like, battling their highlight tapes. Like, I don't know. Versus is, seems pretty bored at this point. But, well, I mean, they're coming up with like, other creative ideas. I missed the first one, which um, aired yesterday. I missed it. Okay. Um, I was gonna ask if you watched it. No, I did not. I did not watch it. I don't plan on watching them only because I personally I I like that they're doing verses for other things, but I do not like uh the verses for football. Like, you know, every catch isn't the same. It's not um it's kind of hard know. to compare. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah, yeah, I get yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. Well, we just gonna we're gonna just we're gonna we yeah. They tried with that one, but we're gonna we're gonna sit that one in the trash. Mm -hmm. now, I don't think that one's gonna it's gonna do very well. Cause I don't I didn't hear anybody really talking about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And it's not really like it, I don't wanna say like no names, but it's not like it's your Tom Brady versus, you know. Right, right, right. It's it's the <laughs> it's the it's the what's it? Not the A list, but the B list, you know what uh, I'm saying? They, more they, like C or D. I, I, I would give it B. I would give okay, it B. I would right. give it B list athletes. I, um, you know they right. <laughs> they not they not they not top tier they not making the multi million dollar checks but they making the million they making they making something all you know right we'll, we'll give them that so keeping on the the way of verses um so Timberland had pretty much you know started you know talking about they was thinking about a Tupac and Biggie versus Ooh, and a Prince and Michael Jackson versus oh that's what I'm talking Hold about on. well let me tell you. <laughs> They can keep that shit if they talking about doing holograms. I think it's weird, okay? Oh, man. I, you know, like, I kind of want to see that. No. The, the geek in me wants to see that. No. The no geek hologram. in me wants to see that. That's weird. Because I, my thing is, why would we want to watch Tupac and Biggie on Instagram Live? That doesn't give you weird vibes. They weren't even born. I mean, they weren't even alive when Instagram was thought of. So, like... But I mean, that's how people consume no, stuff. So no, I just feel like we're disturbing the the peas. We disturbing their graves. Let them rest in peace and get a family member or a representative from their team to get on live and play their music. Mm, I think we can do I, without I the don't hologram. Like that. I don't. I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. All right, y'all, let me know in the comments because. <laughs> 
I, I well, think... Well, shit, get Swiss and Tim up there. And, well, I and mean, can we get them... somebody who's alive? Because I think that's really weird. I don't want to get on Instagram live and look at Biggie and Tupac go back and forth. I actually kind of want to see that. No, shit, stop it with the weird shit. <laughs> I kind of want to see it, though. <laughs> that is weird. No, no. We, I, I need y'all to comment and let me know what y'all think. Well... Moving on to the people who are alive, um, he also hinted at a Justin Timberlake and Usher versus. That's going to be my shit. I will be in here singing the entire night. And he said Drake uh, suggested it. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw you. You had posted about <laughs> that too. And um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it all day. I'm here for it all day. I would. I think that Timberlake is probably the. One of one of one of three people that I can think of right off the top that could go up against Usher. I can't really think of anybody else who. So like we've had a conversation, and I don't want to take too long on this because this is a whole nother broad topic. But right, um, you know, we've had a conversation about Usher and Chris Brown, and the only reason why I really don't really like that comparison is simply for the fact of like. One has more hits, but the other has more timeless music. Right, right, right. So, like, you know, Chris Brown has a lot of hits. Usher has a lot of hits, too, but his music is more timeless. It's classic. And I don't think there's an R&B album out that's better than Confessions. I mean, I feel like it's one of the best R&B albums of all time. So I, I, I would agree. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's a whole other conversation. We're going we gonna to move on because we'll, we'll be sitting here talking all night about that. Tory Lanez. Mm. Tory Lanez. All right. So, I mean, I know everybody feels differently about this, and it's no secret that I am Team Tory. I mean, cancel me if you will. But, um, cancel I, me <laughs> if you will. I am Team Tory, and I don't care what you think about it. But um, so recently, uh, I don't know if we talked about this last time, about how supposedly the the charges were dropped, but it was an error. Okay. Um, the, the court system did not update. Um, his record. So basically say no records were to be found. But now um, the prosecution has given um, Tory's lawyers, lawyers um, a notice that they have new um, physical evidence and they have an eyewitness that pretty much contradicts everything that Megan said is what the prosecution is saying. Okay. So, okay. So let me, let me, let me make sure, let me make sure I got this correct. So, Due to a clerical error, let's just call it a clerical error, they dropped the charges. No, no, no. The charges were never dropped. Okay, all right, so, all right. I got because I got to make sure because right. that's that'll be double jeopardy. Like I, that's, oh, yeah, that's, no, what, no. that's all I heard in my ear. All right, let me let me make it clear. So it was reported that the charges were dropped because of the state's website where it says no records to be found, mm -hmm. which means typically that would mean the charges were dropped. However, they never updated the docket because it got pushed back due to the um, inauguration. A whole bunch of stuff that was going on, COVID, right. a yeah. bunch of stuff, it got pushed back. So they're new. Let, let's blame it on COVID because I the inauguration yeah, has gonna, nothing to do right. with the court system at all. I don't know what, I don't know why Megan said inauguration but yeah so basically it was pushed back to february 25th however what's going on right now is after all of that happened megan shot off a series of tweets and basically said tory lane still going to jail he shot her and all this other type of stuff so tory is requesting from the judge to lift his restriction because right now he is restricted from contacting megan which includes social media it means he cannot address her or the situation by name mm -hmm. on social media. Gotcha. So he is requesting from the judge to lift that restriction so he can defend himself, especially now that there's some new hard evidence that may prove his innocence. And 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 the fact that it's from the prosecution. Right. And, <laughs> and I wanted everybody from the prosecution. I wanted everybody to get that part because people are saying, oh, they're just being biased. No. This is from the state. The state who bought charges against Tory are the same ones who said, hey, we actually have some new evidence, some said, physical it, evidence nigga. that pretty much contradicts everything that Megan is saying. So I don't know how this is going to end. Um, I'm really kind of curious to see how it will end. Oh yeah, I'm, 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 I'm my ear to the street on this one. Oh yeah, so I'm, like I'm into I, it. I had stopped listening to it before, but my ear to the street on this one now because I gotta, because I gotta know. Okay, so when I used to work for the courses, when I used to work for the DA's office, a lot of my job would be 
know, to uh, call like victims for like domestic violence and stuff like that. And it, it, it hurt me so much that, you know, like I, I love the system for the fact of, you know, if, if somebody put their hands on you, if somebody did something to you, you can go All down right. to the magistrate and get a, you know, a uh, restraining order, you know what I'm saying? Bring charges out on them. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's awesome. I love that fact. But the fact of you can do it and not have any premise at all, like just because you mad because that nigga ain't take out the trash, like, you you know, like abuse of the system, I I, I hate that. Because I used to call people and they'd be like, oh yeah, he did this, this and that to the third to me. I got a black eye, whoop de boo Mind you, court was the same day. So they would show up to court and be totally fine. I don't see no black eye. You ain't, you know, your arm ain't in no sling. You know what I'm saying? Like you say he did all this stuff to you. And then you get in there and ask for the nigga to get out. And then tell the judge that you lied. Ch- and, and don't no charges get brought against you. And that's another thing I will, you know, you know, I'm not necessarily saying that Megan is lying, but I do not believe it happened the way she said it happened. And that's just my right. personal opinion. So right. I mean everybody is have his right to their own opinion. But what the question did come up is if Tori is um, you know, you know, marked as or proven innocent, will he for one get an apology and will Megan be canceled? And I feel like Ooh. the answer is no to Ooh. both of those. You, you know what? Yeah, hell no. Hell no. Okay, hell a no. hell no to both of those. So yeah. at the end hell of the day, no. um, like, and I said this earlier to somebody, is that with, especially with the black community, we want to be treated fair and equally when it comes to the criminal justice system, but we don't allow that for our, for each other in right. the court of opinion, because even if Tory is marked as innocent, he's still guilty in a court of opinion. So right, right, right. to everybody he's guilty. So it really doesn't matter what due process he gets. If he's proven to be innocent, he's still guilty to everybody I'm still going to buy his album. I'm still going to buy it. Look, after all of this, I can say, you know, I can say publicly, I can bump Tori in my car when I'm riding down the street now. Oh, I still without, listen to Tori. Without ridicule, you know. I don't have to have it confined to my house. You know what I'm saying? But I, I bump him. I never stop because, you know, I have a mind of my own. And again, you know, I've lost followers. I've been blocked. All simple for the fact that I choose to believe what I believe. So I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you know, you, you champion for Tori. I, I mean, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everybody's not going to have the same opinion, you know? Okay. And you know, I still, and it's crazy because I still rock with Megan, but you know, we'll we'll move off of that, you know, yeah. we'll move off of that. Um, Real quick, let's get uh, Trey Songs arrested at a Chiefs game. Don't okay, really have- okay, I heard, I heard so <laughs> many stories about this. I heard so many stories Chill, about this. So, it's ghetto here. so let me, let me, add, before you get into it, let me ask you, was, because I heard two sides of the story. I heard that Trey was in the wrong, and then I heard the cop was in the wrong. So where where are we going with this? What's the what's the what's the tea? Give me the tea, Tia. Well, I mean, as far as what you heard, I also heard the same thing. It's not too many uh, for sure stories going out right now, but uh, according to the video, you can hear somebody saying he didn't do anything wrong. I'm talking about Trey. Okay, okay, Cause okay. Because apparently, you know, it got rowdy with Trey and some other fans. Right. I heard the guy was like a few rows. Back. Yeah, it got rowdy between Trey and some other fans, and then the cop. You know, the cop who was working, you know, he came over there. But, of course, well, I don't want to say of course because I don't want to make this a racial thing. But he went straight to Trey as mm. if Trey was the problem. Right. And Trey and the officer got into a little scuffle. You know, he hit the officer, put him in a headlock. Yeah. And so, at that point, they you know. That was a tight-ass headlock. That nigga. Right. He had him in a headlock. <laughs> so, at that point, it's like, all right, now you are assaulting the officer. So, you know how they do when it's one of their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So, you know, there will be more information about that. Maybe next week we'll have a better update. And last, I but, hope so, man, because that mugshot looks sad. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, well, yeah, but he made a video and he basically tried to sound like he was unbothered. So, he knows. all right, hey, look, hey, Trey, is he is he is he still locked up? Did he make it? <laughs> he's bad? out, he's out. Oh, he's, he's out? out. Okay, all right, yeah, I'm about to say, come home soon, nigga. But no, he's, oh, yeah, out. he's out, he's home. So, last and certainly least, <laughs> uh, yeah, I meant to say that that wasn't that wasn't a mistake. Um, last and certainly least, uh, oh, Danny Lee in this yellow book. <laughs> All right, so look, let me let me let me oh, let me okay. preface this like this. All right, yellow. So, so 
let me let me ask you this. I'm gonna ask you this, and then I'll, mm-hmm. I, and then I'm gonna shut up and let you finish. If if a Dominic if a uh, Dominican person says the word nigga, are you offended? What's the context? Because I feel like content content context your, is your is context important. matters. Okay, it all right. Matters. So so if a Dominican person walks up to a black walks up to me and says, "What's up, my nigga?" Would you feel a kind of way? If we're friends now. Okay, so say it's a stranger, right? Say it's a stranger and... Well, I don't know you like that. Okay, all right. But, okay, so if it was a friend, you would not have a problem with them saying the word. No, it's clearly, um, to me, it's it's almost like, you know, the word bitch. So if somebody I don't know uh, walk up to the street and be like, you know, call me that, and I'll be like, I don't know, you know, like what? Yeah. But if my best friend call me, and be like, bitch, let me tell you, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, what? Hold I'm hold like, up. what, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not gonna be. I'll be like, girl, what? Like, bitch, you lying? Okay, I, I dig it. I dig it. I dig. It. The only reason why I asked is because it was like a heated debate on Clubhouse about this, and. The people that were championing for Danny Lake, I had no dog in the fight because I don't know like the ethnic origin of anybody. Uh, other than she's other Latina, than, other than the baby, yeah. So somebody said that she was Dominican. So I was like, "Yo, up north, Dominican people can say nigga." So I'm like scoping out the room and I'm looking. I'm like. Yeah, a lot of these people from the South. So I, I don't know how, well, you know what I'm saying? It's different. It's different. It's a, it's a, it's a different, it's a different so culture once you cross that Mason-Dixon. For starters, um, yeah, so she's Latina. And yeah, she is the one that says she sees no color. And she's okay. never purposely identified herself as black. Now here's, okay, if you have not heard the trash song, she says a yellow bone is what he wants. Okay, so there's really nothing wrong with preference at all, but for one, it seems like she's taking a shot at Mimi. Right, and I I, I felt that. Which I, I felt that sentiment. is the baby's baby mother to both of his kids, and she is a beautiful black woman. So, you know, a lot of people felt like she was just trying to be messy, and then it just it came off as colorism because it's like, a yellow bone is what he want, meaning he don't want a dark skinned girl. Mm-hmm. So people were, you know, of course they were saying, "Oh, what about songs like Brown Skin Girl?" Okay, well, newsflash: Brown skin is a representation of a woman of color, meaning all shades. So a light skinned black person is still a brown skinned girl. So that that wasn't a good, you know, example that people were trying to use. Mm-hmm. So fast forward to her apology, she apologizes. To everyone she offended. And she was like, well, you know, I have, I date a, a chocolate man and I have dark skinned friends. And I'm just like, wait, did her publicist write this? Because that's to me is equivalent as a racist saying. Yeah, like that. I was, have a black that, friend. I, I, was, I was, I thought that was a little shaky. I thought the apology was a little shaky. I was it was beyond like, shaky. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, we're gonna we're gonna uh, move forward off of our current events because we'll talk all day on current events. Yeah, so, I know, right? Shit, yeah. we did thirty minutes of current events. Yeah, I was events. gonna say let's, no, let's we get ain't got into shit it. to talk about. I'm gonna tell you that right now. We ain't got shit no, to talk about. No, we actually do, <laughs> but we're gonna move past the current events, and um, we're missing a couple of our um, our people today, but we making it work though. Yeah, 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 we're making yeah, yeah, it yeah, work. Yeah. Man, all shout right, out, shout out the cameraman if he at home watching, bro. We. We up, you know what I'm saying? I know my lighting bad because you see my shadow in the back. They sh- it's showless, but I was about to say, what happened to my, like, I ain't looking like I normally look. Man, look, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right. <laughs> All right, let's look. get it. Let's get it. Let's, let's, yeah, let's I, get I, it. I need him to come and put up the light so I can see it once, and then I, I got it after that. I but know okay. you can't see the screen, but the screen says, grow the fuck up. All so right. where we so, at? All right. So, today we are talking about Today we are talking about what are we talking about today. Today we are talking. <laughs> I, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how to word it. Today we are going to talk girl about plus my wife equals my money gone. <laughs> today we are talking about how important it is not to cheat. Mm. Right, that's what we're talking about. Right. So, um, it was a point in time in my life 
Well, I was out here. Like, out here. Oh, like, AJ's I was, here watching. AJ's watching. What yeah. up, nigga? Shout out, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can say that because I'm black. All right. All right. So, no. Nah. So, it, it was a point in time in my life where I was out here. Like, I was I was out here. Like, yeah, I was a whole fuckboy. I'm, I'm a reformed fuckboy now. But I was a whole fuckboy back then. And um, I had a conversation with one of my boys about, you know, how we have reformed, you know what I'm saying, ourselves. Like we saw, we were, we were out and about. This was this conversation happened a while ago, but we were this pre-COVID. So we were out and about, we were at the club, and we had noticed, you know, uh a dude in the club that was maneuvering with different women in the club. Like I saw him because I was up at the DJ booth, uh, you know what I'm saying, chilling. And I kind of saw the nigga like, you know, he had on his bright ass yellow shirt. That's that's this is why he was noticeable. He had a bright ass yellow shirt. He was with one girl and I knew the girl. And um, you know, I spoke to her. She was like, Oh, I'm here with my boyfriend. I saw them kiss. I'm gonna assume that's your boyfriend. She ends up leaving and going to the club next door. I'm not saying what club it is, but you you could kind of feel. I know where we're... you and Raleigh. Ain't yeah, you? yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I know. All right, so why don't you just say where you was at? You was probably at Solis. I was at Solis. Okay. All right, so <laughs> so I go to the bar and link up with my boy, and then like the the dude in the yellow shirt is like tonguing down this whole other girl like right next to us while we trying to order our drinks, and we felt you know because thirty and she's like, what the fuck you doing that shit in the club, bro? Like what the fuck? And uh, you know, nigga was bumping our drinks and shit. I was like, bro, let me get the fuck out of here, man. Get my shit. And um, and uh, I told her, I was like, yo, you know, that you know, old boy, uh, is what's and he knew the girl too. He was, I was like, old boy is what's the name boyfriend? And he was like, yeah, I saw them together. She told me she was in here. I was like, bro, remember we used to do bullshit like that? He was like, yeah, man. Glad we grew the fuck up. Please grow the fuck up. Because I, I mean, that's <laughs> why, yo. Like, why would you do that? Like, please grow tear up. Yeah, like why? Why would you do that? Like, okay, so I understand. You know, you in your tw- and and homie was younger. He was mm-hmm. younger. He was in his in, in his early twenties. I put it like that. He was in his early twenties, um, because he was still in college. So he was in his early twenties and shit, man. But I mean, I'm just like, you know, at the end of the day, bro. Like, when does it when does it hit? For guys to grow the fuck up. Because I know guys right now that are my age that still haven't grown the fuck up. They're still out here doing, you know, saying some wild shit. Right? Well, you can't raise a man. But you have to, at some point, you have to realize that you're a fuckboy. You have to realize that you're a fuckboy at some point in time. And either you're going to, A, continue being a fuckboy because that's what you like to do or you're going to or you're going to slow or you're going to slow so down. So what makes what makes a person a fuckboy? I mean, everybody has their own definition. For me personally, for me personally, it's 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 the fact of leading women on. Mm. Um it's the uh it may be the fact of juggling multiple women at the same time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um without yeah. without letting them know. Like if I let them, if I let, if you, if you out there juggling multiple women at the same time and you let them know, you're not a fuck boy for that. But you are a fuck boy if they have no idea of each other. You're not about to just speed past that. Like what What you you just said ain't no fucking shit. So because he's, Tom's. He don't got me all messed up. I can't even get the words out. Come on, get it so, out. So because he tells the women that he's juggling X, Y, and Z, does means he's exempt from fuckboyish? When I say that, when I say that, um, no, nah, listen, 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 listen. When I say that, I mean, all right, so a dude come talk to you, right? Uh, y'all talking. He said, hey, look, um, I like you, um, but I'm also dealing with two other women right now. Now let's just say let's just say you were in the mindset to condone it, right? You're like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. If everybody knows about each other, it's 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 no secrets, it's no lies. If if you call him and and he be, where you at? Oh shit, I'm I'm with uh Cassandra right now. You know what I'm saying? And you know about Cassandra, you really can't get mad. It's not mm-hmm. fuckboy shit. He's letting you know. He's like, look. I have I it's have options here. right now. It is ghetto. It is ghetto. But it's um, so ghetto here. But I mean, some people some people like polygamous stuff. 
So you yeah, know, I'm good. I, and and that's and that's your prerogative, and that's your prerogative. But at some point, you know, you got you kind of got to change your ways. <laughs> I'm, we got I'm, comments. I'm laughing because AJ said I was spilling the tea, and I'm just like, wait, I'm confused because I might be a little tipsy. And my cup is empty. So. Oh my lord! Yeah, I don't, I don't have anyone here to give me a refill, you know. So we'll, we'll, we'll hold it out. All right. So, but yeah, at some point in time, you got to change your ways, man. Because um, for me personally, like this shit just gets old, man. It gets old yeah, real quick. I mean, cheating to me, like. I never really understood it. I mean, at, at some point, you have to grow up. So, I mean, because if you're going, it, it, it takes a lot of energy to cheat, and it takes a whole lot of energy to lie, and more energy to keep telling another lie to cover the first lie <laughs> To you cover told. the first lie you and told. And then you got to remember all the lies. I can't even tell you what I ate for dinner yesterday, so. You don't even know what day it is. Never. <laughs> And I only know it's Wednesday because of record on Wednesday. So this is true. Lying and cheating is not my thing because I will know. Mm. It's not my thing, but I'm not going to say that I'll get caught because I feel like women are better. Yeah, women are better at it. And it's just, I think, and I personally think it's it's because of the pattern in which y'all think. Y'all compartmentalize stuff. So y'all will, y'all will give just enough information to answer a question. Guys overshare when they're fucking lying. Like a nigga, <laughs> right. like 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 the girl will call. Right the girl will call. The girl will call. Where you at? Oh shit! Uh, I'm with Robin. We playing basketball and da 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 da. Nigga, it's eleven o'clock at night. The fuck you playing back? Where are you playing where, where basketball, you basketball at? at right. Like, what? Like, right. Like, come on, man. Like, you start making up. You do stuff. it. You do it with a girl. <laughs> Yo, where you at? Oh shit! I'm over here with the girls. And just leave it just like that. But it'd be a whole nigga over there, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm over here with the girls. Oh, we drinking wine. Oh, we doing this. Oh, we doing that. Like, y'all just give the direct answer. Don't overshare. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. we, 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 we accept good. it because we're not going to pry. We're going to be like, oh, all right. All so, right. so, like, okay. So, once you get in a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. is it hard to separate yourself from your quote unquote hoe? Like, you know, like, because when you, when you're living a single life and you have, you know, you got Keisha Lee and Kim and whoever else that you got that you're kicking it with, mm -hmm. does men find it hard to let them down? Like, hey, I got a girl now. Like, what is that process like? Do you go back and be <laughs> like, hey, I have a girl? Or is it kind of like, you know, when she hits you up, you either like... You contemplate like, dang, am I gonna hit this or am I gonna tell her I got a girl? So I feel like a lot of that had like plays into this whole cheating scenario because if okay, you don't off okay. the gate cut your hoes off, I feel like you know you're leaving that gate open. So let's talk about it, Ab. All right, so I will say this. I will say that um I will say that uh at a different point in time it was hard. So like when I was younger, when I was like early twenties. I would I would wait until the girl hit me up and be like, oh shit, I got a shorty now. I can't fuck with you like that. And now, you know, that was fucked up to me looking back at it in hindsight. Now, if you know, if if uh, you know, when I'm in a relationship with somebody, I let if it if if it was anybody else I was communicating with to any extent to where they thought we were on the road to a relationship, I let them know, like, look, man. You know, I got into a relationship. Um, you know, going to have to cease contact with you as you know, as as that as that talking phase. Like that's that's a dub. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, just having that open communication like that. Like, what's what's it like for women? Like, do you do you just cut niggas off? Like, you just go through your little contacts, send a mass text. Like, I got a boo. Send. So, um, not to give too many gems away, um, but what we do, um, no. Oh, so you're speaking for all women. Okay. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. What we do. Okay. Well, what most women do, 
Um, no, we're not sending out mass texts. Like, who does that? No. Okay. Um, you know, what women is good at or better at that men aren't is we don't let our right hand know what our left hand is doing. You know, not to give too many gems away. But, I mean, if we are, if we was to come into somebody new, we tend to hold on to our other people to make sure this new person is going to act right completely. And so it's like, I'm not, for one, cutting off nobody until I know for a fact that you are serious for one, you're good for me, and, you know, that you're going to be worth cutting off all my little, quote, unquote, hoes. Now, if we are in a relationship, Okay, all right, because I was about to, I was about, to, I was, I was about now, to get you, y'all. Okay, like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I ain't, I ain't gonna be no hypocrite. All right. So if we're in a relationship, um, I feel like girls just ghost guys. I don't, I don't see, I don't. Well, for me personally. I don't never just go and be like, oh, I have a boyfriend now. But the simple fact that I need to keep that line open for if you fuck up in the future. Not saying I would do anything while we're in a relationship. I'm just saying like, <laughs> I'm not a hypocrite, ain't I? Yeah, you but are. I'm, I'm listening though. It's okay like, because y'all are hypocrites too. But any, basically what I'm saying, you guys have to forgive me right now because I feel like it might be the jack. But <laughs> honestly, honestly, honestly speaking, um, if I'm in a relationship, you know, I do not entertain um any any other guys. But I don't I don't personally send out a mass message like, hey, I have a boyfriend. Because if I end up getting the boyfriend, you're gonna know anyway. So Okay. All right, that's fair enough. It is, right? That's, I mean that that's fair enough. So I'm assuming, you know, something you know, something will be visual for them to see, but like, oh damn, she booted up. <laughs> okay, all right, I, and I and I can respect that. However, you do it, just as long as you do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't spill it. I ain't spilling don't, nothing. Don't um. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. See, hold on. Who what, is? What is what Somebody is? got the floor. This is Nick. He said females ain't shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, First of all, <laughs> he about to make me click the nails. <laughs> Nick, let me tell you something. First of all, no, that's 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 not what's happening here. What I'm basically saying is we do things a little differently from y'all. Y'all will have to deliberately tell your hoes that you're cutting them off because I feel like females are a little different when it comes to males. Females are a little bit more attached, a little bit more clingy. So you have to let them know that you have a girl because the moment you start ghosting that female, she's going to want to know what's up. Now, with guys, they typically have a roster anyway. So unless this is like somebody I was going strong with, I don't feel obligated to like give you a play by play, but you will know that I'm involved because you probably will see it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Damn. don't say we ain't shit, though. Wait, hold on, wait. He said, how we got to cut off hoes, you, but you get to keep them. See, you ain't, <laughs> see, Nick. Nah, Nick, that's not what she said, bro. Because I, I was going to jump on her. I was going to jump on her if she said that, but she ain't say that, dog. She she, she, was, she was talking about if they was just in the talking phase or whatever. Right. But if she, she said, if she did get into a committed relationship, Niggas would know via Facebook and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm not about to send you no PSAs because you know, I feel like guys are different from females. I'm I i do not know, but I, I feel mean, like if you're dealing with a female, she as soon as you cut her off, it's gonna be, you know, you can't just ghost a female. No, you can't, you can't, you can't. And that's and that's and that's one of the reasons why I will I will go and um and let them know. You know what I'm saying? Like just and, and I don't like when people some people are messy. I'm not saying females, but some people in general are messy. So I'd rather have it out there. Now I have the proof of when I told you and that I told you. <laughs> not the receipt. Yes, the, <laughs> the motherfucking receipt. Um, so if something comes up, right, 
if she want to be a woman and slide in my girl inbox and shit, I'm be like, look, babe, uh-uh. look, babe, look, babe, oh, look, babe. On January 5th <laughs> look, at 2.50, <laughs> I said in the Hey, look, hey, <laughs> look, it ain't there. All right, so let's talk about let's uh let's talk about fighting the temptation. You know, we talk about cutting off the hose. Yes, Nick, we're gonna cut the hose off. All hose are getting cut off. Now, snip, snip, snip. All right, fighting the temptation though. Like, right. all right, so does that I feel like with females, well, with women, it's easier for us to resist mm. temptation. She- hold on, hold she- on. She- hold, wait a minute. I feel like it's easier because we have a whole lot of, we have more ways to just satisfy ourselves in general. And they don't have to be just sexually. So I don't have a problem with fighting temptation. I feel like with a guy, you guys have the hardest time turning down any type of attention. Like temptation is something hard for y'all. If a if a girl with a big butt slide in your DM and you have a girl, you're not gonna tell me that you're not gonna at least think twice about it. Nope. Let me because look. I don't need those problems. All right, so you talking you talking to somebody that's over thirty, right? So if you ask somebody somebody <laughs> younger, <laughs> what what's happening on the screen? I can't. I, I'm gonna need you to start I can't, the screen. I up. can't see it. God. Now, uh, uh, AJ said this is why we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man. Um, Finally got a sister in the room. Yes, Ashley. Ashley said, "Preach." Oh my God! All right. Okay. Anyway, so so for, <laughs> for for when I was younger, I say when I was younger. When I was younger, yes, it was hella temptation. I was like, look. You know, shorty would slide in the D. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, and, and especially if if it was somebody I used to deal with and she slide in the DMs, fuck, man. Like, do I respond? Do I not respond? Like, nah. You know, you think twice about the shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, twice about that shit. I look at it. Oh, shit. All right. So I have a question. All right. Because I, I ask this with guys who, who I date as well. Okay. So if it's a celebrity or... <laughs> Look, don't don't try to drink your drink now. I'm drinking my drink. So if it's a celebrity or I guess a, a Instagram model, does that change any of the dynamics? And I want you to be 100% honest. I'm going to be honest that- with you right now. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm going to be honest with you right now. At this point, because I know that Instagram models don't be making no money for real, for real. They not, they, they. They fabricate the lifestyle, it'll never be an Instagram model. Now, if it's a celebrity, an actor, uh, I mean, excuse me, an actress, uh, 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 you know, a songstress, uh, 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 I don't know, you know, it, it hell, shit, even a politician <laughs> at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm listening, go ahead. Yeah, but. I would I would think twice about that shit. I would think twice about that shit. And you know what? I'll probably ask. I'll, I'll probably ask if whoever I'm dating at the time, like, look, look, babe. Uh, so wait, make it I, good to I'm slide it, slid in my DMs, man. Can, like, I, can I pause you just for a second? So what is the difference? What's the I difference? mean, because they're a celebrity. They're still a person. So I'm trying to figure out what makes it different. Because real quick, Nick has the floor. Uh-huh. He says she has to understand if Riri slid in his DMs. But Yo, Rihanna, to... nigga. But I'm I got to ask. I got to ask. I'm going to ask him, like, look, babe, can I do it? And I'm going to ask. That is so I'm cool. going to. I'm going to ask Hell if you can no. join. <laughs> I'm going to ask okay, if you so, can join. So wait, it would be a threesome type of vibe? Hell yeah. I would try to pull that off. Oh gosh! What okay, nigga? What nigga so, out here saying that they had a threesome with that girl and Rihanna? Okay, well look, I don't have a bae, <laughs> but dear future bae, as long as we're okay with Michael B. Jordan joining, then we're good. You know? I don't know. <laughs> look, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know too many niggas who cool with another nigga in a threesome. Well, I mean, maybe maybe not a threesome, but um, is it okay that I go uh go uh chill with Michael? Well, you know what. You know what? Depending on depending on who the guy is, if 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 my shorty called me and been and was like, "Yo, look, you know, uh, so and so slid in my DM," I might be like, "Yo, you need to go handle that. Go get that bag." You know what? Wait a minute, so go, now you sound like prostitution. No, like, like, you yo, said get a you. bag. Who to say he was? No, see who said he was paying? Shit, he better pay. That's some good pussy. Look. <laughs> 
<laughs> what you? Okay, well, we're supposed to be talking about fighting the temptation. You went from, oh, I ain't thinking twice about it because I'm Mr. Mr. Love My Girl, but let neck and good or Rihanna slide in your DM. Hey, it's look, just like man. all she wrote. Yeah. So how bad? I can get her some 50 for the low. Like, come on, son. Oh, my gosh. Valentine's Day coming up. So are you really fighting the temptation then? Yeah, because what's the chances of Megan Good and Rihanna sliding in my DM? Child, it's ghetto here. Nah, I look, I know, I know my look scale, man. I know my look scale. I ain't <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hitting on I ain't hitting on, you know, the, that Megan Good Rihanna level. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna you gonna just go for the shot. So speaking of, you know, we got fighting temptation, so cheating. Okay, so all these things are just leading to cheating, you know, <laughs> cutting off the hose, not fighting the temptation. So now we have cheating. So is it expensive to cheat? Does it cost you more to cheat? After the age of 30, yes. This is why. Explain. This is why. When you're 20 something in college, Cheating is easy. You ain't got to pay for no hotel room for real, for real, because you're probably fucking on campus. If she ain't got a place, you got a place. So you really not really spending no money for real, for real. You ain't got to, you really ain't got to take it to eat. And if you do take it to eat, it's something fast food. So look, cheating is, cheating is cheap when you're younger. When you get older, she asking for shit. She asking for you to take care of a bill because you fucking her. You know what I'm saying? She asking for you to, uh, 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 you know, take her to a destination because she want to go with 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 her couple friends and she can't go alone, and you gotta pay for the both of y'all. Cheating is expensive when you get older. So okay, uh, I'm not very hip to the cheating life. Oh. Um, <laughs> but so wait, so wait, you the guy would go on a couple's like date vacation. With the side person? That- yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. Niggas will, niggas will, all right, let's, let's do something small scale. Let's do something small scale. I've seen, I've seen married niggas go to CIAA with a side chick. I okay. See, that's- and, and then not only that, not only that, get a separate room. So one room for them and then one room for their side chick and they pay for both of them. Like yo, cheating is fucking expensive. Cause if that nigga wife pull it, that that nigga wife know he has CI. If that nigga wife pull up, he gotta be in that room either with the boys or alone. This just seems like a lot of like moving pieces. It is. Not only is it expensive, it's a headache. Sounds like it is just for a piece of pussy, bro. Like I, I don't know, man. I I I just so I just it's almost do it, like man. he's being blackmailed because like all right. So if I'm gonna date somebody who's in a relationship, it's like all right. Well, if you don't pay this bill, if you don't give me this, or you don't do this, then I'm gonna go to your girl as a woman, and I got many receipts. Right, right, yo, <laughs> go to your girl as a woman. <laughs> all right, hold on. Ashley says she's if it's a sneaky link, you're telling me it costs that much. Okay, so all right. So let's all right, sneaky links. I all think, right, so that's that's shorties that just want the dick and they don't want nothing else. So question, because maybe I might or be using dudes this term that wrong. Just want the pussy. If you have a sneaky link, does that mean you are dealing with somebody who is in a relationship? Not necessarily. Not because I've heard it. I've heard it because I didn't hear it until Clubhouse, and then on Clubhouse it was explained to me that a sneaky link could be cheating. It could yeah, be I heard a sneaky out. link is you're dealing with somebody who's with somebody. So that's literally your sneaky link. Like nobody knows that you're sneaking with it. Okay. That that's one way of going about it. But a sneaky link can also be like y'all are in like maybe like a, the same social group and y'all are fucking, but nobody else knows it. Okay, that too. Yeah. So all right, let's see what we got in the comments. Cheating is a lot, period. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Asher. I thought when you had a sneaky link, you were literally sneaking with somebody else's man or somebody else's girl. Mm. Um, now you know, bringing it back to you know cheating being expensive, you know, we have Valentine's Day coming around. Man. So not only do you got Valentine's Day Part One, you got Side Chick Day on February <laughs> fifteenth. <laughs> so like, you really putting out some money, like right. Hmm. 
That's a little tragic. Yeah, man. I I can't believe I used to do that shit, man. That shit's fucking terrible. It costs too much to cheat. So, what do you believe about the term about the saying "it's cheaper to keep her"? That I think that only applies to. Um, I think that only applies to when you're married, and this is why I say that because divorces are fucking expensive. It depends. Well, it yeah, it depends, but they can be. Right. Like if it's if it's time invested, divorces can be expensive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, my my outlook on that is that term, and I've only heard that term really from married men to say it's cheaper to keep her. So, so okay, so okay, so when when people say it's cheaper to keep her, I feel like it's more so saying like you know what. I don't want to be with her, but I might as well stay with her because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. But then nine times out of ten, you're going to be cheating on her. And mind you, you just said it's cheaper to keep her, but you also said it's expensive to cheat. So to me, it kind of like, it contradicts itself because... Okay, I see see, see where you're going with that one. Especially if you're a married person and you get caught cheating... Like it's, you thought it was cheaper to keep her that she really about to rape your pockets and she can sue your side piece, so she really about to be sitting lovely off a of check, you know. So I don't yeah, know. It do may that. not be cheaper to keep her, y'all. It might be. It, it, it's definitely cheaper to keep her. I don't know about that because definitely if you feel if you got to say it's cheaper to keep her, you're also going to be saying it's expensive to cheat because you're going to be cheating on her. You're gonna be cheating on her and you're gonna be you're gonna be spending money on her and spending money on your side chick. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Those two those two can't go them, them two can't really go hand in hand. Yeah. I mean, I just I don't know, man. I don't know. It is what it is, man. Look, don't cheat, man. Like this, this is what we try to tell you. Just don't do it, man. It's too much headache. It's just a it's too much headache, super man. Secret. It it, it is a headache. Cause, cause the, and I think the only reason why cheating is so expensive is you're paying for the convenience. That's really what you're paying for. You're paying for the convenience to cheat. You're paying for the convenience of the pussy or uh, the dick, what, whatever you're into. That's what you pay. You Okay, I'll put it like this. You go to the grocery store, right? Mm-hmm. And milk might be, let's just say, a dollar at the grocery store. Like I'm just throwing out a price. I don't know how much milk is. I just buy the shit. All right, so milk is a dollar. Do- yeah, okay. Well, we're just saying we're just saying it's a dollar at the grocery store, okay. right? But the grocery store is four miles away from your house. It's a corner store, 0. 0.5 miles away from your house. That same uh, gallon of milk is four dollars and fifty cent at that convenience store. Why is it so much more expensive? Because it's convenient. It's right there. So where are you going? So where are you going with this? Are you like? Are you saying like okay? Because I feel like it's only really expensive, depending on if you're in a relationship with your side piece. Because this is where a lot of guys go wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay, I need you guys to hear me clearly. This is where you go Did wrong. You tap the microphone. <laughs> you're having a relationship with the side piece. That's for one. I don't understand that because. Nine times out of ten, when a guy has somebody on the side, it's mainly it releases what I thought it should be just sex. You know, you know, you have a relationship with the girl that you're with. You have a relationship with her. You do relationship shit with her. Right. You got the side piece because you know you want to, you know, suck on, fuck on, or whatever, whatever you do with her. Suck on, fuck on. <laughs> on the side, <laughs> but why are you trying to maintain two relationships? Like I don't get that. Like okay, and that's and that's an interesting that's an interesting way to look at it as well. Like, why are you gonna have a whole now? You stressing yourself out, and you putting more you putting more stress on your wallet because you got two relationships. You got yep. one that's public, and then you have your private relationship, which ultimately you're gonna be paying. You're gonna be buying her out because if we're together, like, oh, my boyfriend has a wife type of thing. You know, I've seen it for real. Oh my! So like, God. yeah, my boyfriend has a wife, so he's. He's married to her, but he's dating me. I'm not saying that my boyfriend has a wife. I only have a boyfriend, but it's just an example. Disclaimer. But um, <laughs> no, no, we 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 always speak hypothetical. Yeah, unless we say unless we say it's valid, we always speak hypothetical. I don't want nobody to be like, oh, it's here dating somebody. No, I'm not dating nobody's husband. So hypothetically, <laughs> <it's> like, 
right, please do not come to me as a woman because I get that all the time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, somebody going to be like, yo. <laughs> because if you come to me as a woman, if you know me, you're going you to your, get your feelings hurt. Right. You already know what I'm going to say. But anyway, so yeah, so it's like if I'm dating somebody else's husband, yeah, he's going to be coming out of his pocket to keep me happy because not only have you not left your wife like you said you was. Who said, who said no, that nine times, But if you were in a relationship with your side piece, nine times out of ten, they probably don't sold you something to say, oh, well, I'm going to leave her eventually. Because I don't I don't know. But, like, why would – I just can't for the life of me wrap my head around why anybody would want to be in a relationship with somebody – Who's married. Married or who's already in a relationship. Like, who – like, I don't understand. So you are willingly knowing that you are a secret. So you're mm-hmm. getting what you want out of him. Like, all right, mm-hmm. bet. I want you want to keep our relationship a secret. I need X, Y, and Z, or I'm going to tell your girl now. How important is your girl to you? Because after a while, you might just say, "Fuck it, I don't care." You know, she find out, she find out. So yeah, I feel like it's it's a lot it's a lot more stressful when you are in a relationship with your side versus just having sex. Because I feel like if you're just having sex, it really is no need for you to feel obligated to constantly pay their bills, take them on dates. Yeah, you no, know. That's, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. But so, so, all right, so, so, so we going we gonna switch gears real quick, cause uh, yeah, cause we going over, we we definitely going over our hour, but I had one last point. I had one last point I wanted to touch uh, touch on, man. Um, so <laughs> I was uh I was having a conversation with one of my homeboys. He was telling me about this amazing woman he was dating. He said, man, look, man, she she got everything, man. Like, you know, and mind you, this is a well-accomplished black man. You know what I'm saying? He has, you know, he has two degrees. He's, um, you know, uh, active in his career. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing shit with his life. Like, you know, with his uh, social organizations. Like, he's active in that. Like, he's... He... Pause, but the nigga's a catch. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's... He's, he's single? No, he's not single. Like, I'm trying to tell you the story about him not being single. So, right, so you know, the, you know, the nigga, you know, the nigga would be a catch or whatever. Like, if if somebody came to me and was like, "Look, do you have any single homeboys?" That's probably one of the first niggas I would think of referring. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, I, I, I know the nigga. I know the nigga is open for communication. But like, is the he nigga single. No, I'm I'm telling you the story. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. So look. So he's telling me about this amazing woman that he's dating. Now, this amazing woman that he's dating is is doing just a little bit better than him, right? Okay. So, mind you, he doesn't own a home yet, but but he is he is renting a house. He doesn't own a home yet, right? Um, and I think he is. I want to say, I want to say he just got a new car, so he you know he's paying a car note or whatever. So, um, you know, this woman she got two cars, both of them paid off. Nice ass house in Apex, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like he's telling me all this shit that she got, like where she's working at. You know what I'm saying? She's the she's the only black woman to ever hold this. You know, uh, 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 she's a financial woman, so she's like a CFO at this company mm-hmm. or whatever. I don't want to get too much of a business out of whatever, but you know what I'm saying? She's the only black woman to ever hold that position. Like she is fucking doing the thing. He's telling me, I'm like, oh shit, nigga, that sounds lit, nigga. Like yeah, congratulations, bro. I'm happy you found somebody. But he is, he is uh, reserved in like dealing with her. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? But he's intimidated. Like after the after an hour long conversation, I had to tell him, I'm like, bro, you you are intimidated by this black woman. He's in, okay. He's intimidated because she is somewhere in like, better. yeah, and he's not. And, and mind you, she's younger than him. She's like maybe like two or three years younger than him. And I and I and you know and I and I wish men would not be um, intimidated and just just based on like statistics, you know, not saying that you guys are slow or anything, but women um, typically do better than men at life. Period. You know, not to I don't play y'all or nothing, but it's like most of the time you probably will find a woman that. May might have a little bit more going on, might be mm-hmm. doing a little bit more, but I don't, I don't think that that's a good reason to really be intimidated because as long as you are being a man, what she does with her career or what money she makes, I feel like it really doesn't 
doesn't have anything to do with y'all as far as a relationship um, is right. concerned. Right. But so. looking from the man's point of view, and I can speak on it too, because I mean, I've been in that, I've been in that situation. So, you know, when I moved to Greensboro, you know, I, I was, you know, I was working at, I was working at fucking Spectrum. I wasn't making, you know, a shitload of money, but you know, my ex at the, at the, uh, well, my, yeah, my ex, she was working for, you know, she was working for the County. So she was, she was making a nice check. You know what I'm saying? Like she was in her career field. She was making a nice check. I just had a transitional job because that's the first job that came open that hired me, that allowed me to, you know, move out to Greensboro so I could be closer to her or whatever. And, um, you know, I, I had some kind of like, you know, my thing was, I wasn't, in, I wasn't really intimidated, you know, like where she was in life. It was, mm-hmm. it was, she was making more money than me and she was paying for everything at that point in time. So my thing was like, when I moved up there, I had a job and I was like, look, let me, you know, let me take care of the utilities. You know what I'm saying? Let me take care Feeling of the rent. Less of a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, oh no, I got it. Cause she was living in that spot before I got there. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, she was like, oh no, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Stack your money. Like that's what she was telling me to do, but in my mind, I'm like, bro, like I don't feel like a man. Like I'm living under your roof. You know what I'm saying? For free, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And like, it, it, I don't know. It just didn't sit right with me. You know what I'm saying? And then once I got, you know, once I started, you know, working at, at the courthouse or whatever, it was like, okay, boom. Now I'm making. You know, I was making excessively more money than she was, and we had we were getting ready to move. So I was like, look, you ain't got to pay shit else. Pay your credit cards off, you know what I'm saying? Pay your car off, do that, you know what I'm saying? And after that, like, the relationship flourished after that because I felt like more of a man. Like, we progressed pretty quickly after that point just because I felt like more of a man, like I was taking care of shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's always that's always how I've been. But I, I get it from the, from the guy's point of view, but you can't think like that all the time. Like, sometimes the situation deems, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she, you know... If you in that situation and she taking care of shit and she say, no, nigga, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Let her get it. Don't stop offering, but let her get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because, you you know, I mean, shit, it is what it is, though. Um, Let's see. Nick said, bruh, if she fuck with you, that's all you need. She could be less intimidated in relationship. Then AJ said, um, my last relationship was like that. I wasn't intimidated or anything, but sorry, y'all, I can't see. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Where are your glasses at, man? I actually have my contacts in. Okay, so uh, AJ said, my last relationship was like that. I wasn't intimidated or anything, but she would sometimes intentionally throw it in my face. Hmm. That's not good. Nah, it's not good at all. <laughs> yeah, and see, that's, I think that's another thing that, like, kind of guys have, they struggle with. It's like, all right, I'm dating this woman who has a lot more, so that intimidation is there. Mm. Like you said, you feel less of a man, and then, you know, once she gets mad or whatever, she throws it in your face. Right, and look, I was I was just having a conversation about that, about that same fact earlier, to, or earlier this evening or whatever, where, uh, you know, I was asked, you know, um, you know, would I ever like ask for help? And I'm like, no, I'll, I'll never ask for help. Like I've, I've, I, I was in a situation one time where I was like really down on my last, like my last like thirty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like I had, you know, I had to pay the pay the bills for the entire house that I was living in. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not only me living there. I had roommates at the time, so like I had to pay everything because both them niggas weren't working. All our names was on the lease, but both them niggas weren't working. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, like, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, it, it was, it, it was just a whole clusterful. I had to, I had to pretty much cover for the entire month. And I was like, fuck, like I'm $30 short. So, you know, I asked for you know, $30 and then some money for groceries. So let's just, let's just cap it off at $130. Right. So I paid it off the next month. I paid it back the next month. But when we broke up, we had the same social circles. And she would hold that shit over my head, like, oh yeah, that nigga broke. Like, you know, I had to bail him out yeah, there one time. Same. I'm like, yo, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, no, that's that's messed up. But um, so we are over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we are, yeah, we are definitely over our time. We we're over. Um No, we right on time because what we started at what eight, eight, sixteen? 
eight fifteen, yeah, something yeah. like that. We had a we had we had a good we had a good conversation. It's just, it's just me and you today. We we made it work. We weaned it, you know. Hell yeah, we held this shit down. <laughs> Yes, don't be out here cheating because it costs too much. Uh, right. Don't be a fuck boy because that's lame. And um, yeah, don't be intimidated by a strong black woman. Yeah, man, fella, shoot your shot, man. Shoot your shot, man. These 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 shoot these women these, these women want to want to be taken and chose, man. Shoot your shot, dog. Like you know, if you if you just a janitor, dog, you know what I'm saying. Hey, look, be a janitor. She'll love you the same, man. You know what I'm saying. Ain't no thing. Um, thing but do it. Yep. Your heart, mind, clear. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it sounded unsure. All right, my heart and mind is clear. We're getting ready to get up out of here, man. Yo, make sure you follow us on um, Drinks and Discussion Podcast on Facebook, uh, Drinks and Discussion Podcast on YouTube, uh, D&D Pod uh, on Instagram. Um, look, make sure you rate, like, comment, and subscribe, man, if you're listening to us, man. Um, anywhere you see us, man, just follow, like, share, whatever, man. Like, All that. Yeah, we need them ratings, man. All and, that. You know what I'm saying? If you listen to us, man, make sure you put a rating down, man. You know what I'm saying? That that makes us look good so we can keep doing our thing, man. Um, make sure you follow me, uh, King Bot, K V G B A K on all social media platforms. Make sure you follow uh Tia at T with Tia on Instagram and also T with Tia on Twitter. T with Tia underscore on Twitter. Okay. Like this fucking underscore, man. Yo, we got a box whoever got T with Tia, bro. Yeah, she has an inactive account. So. Yeah. All right, yeah. But uh T with Tia on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook as well. Make sure you follow us. Kiss my kicks. Kicks my kicks with four S's on Insta- on Instagram, man. And um, don't you got an underscore on Twitter too for Kiss My Kicks? Yeah. Yo, we gotta start boxing these niggas to fuck up, man. Yeah, just forget about Twitter. Go to my Instagram, <laughs> Kiss My Kicks with four S's on kicks. Everything's in my bio. For sure, man. For sure. All right. Well, look, it's getting late. It's work. It's a work night, man. We getting ready to get oh, up out of here. Night. Yeah. What's that? All right, yo, we out of here. Peace. <laughs>